Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. We every Wednesday, sometimes Friday, always on Sunday. So today, as you can see, the 900 finally has the loader back on it again. Um, we got the new joystick, which I'll show you in a minute. Brand new joystick and cables. Um, I did also fix the handbrake. <laughs> the handbrake wasn't working. Um, the pin with the handbrake kept coming out. <clears throat> the I'll show you, just as easy. The handbrake was a nightmare, he said. Because my dad does all these kind of jobs I don't do. So the handbrake, um, there was a pin that's holding this, the, that there's a pin holding the bar in. And at the back of it, just way in there, there's a pin there in the back of it. That's holding that in, so it can stay on the ratchet. So when you hear the click, 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 that means it's, uh, it's on the ratchet. Yeah, it wasn't doing that. The pin kept coming out and my dad, had to weld a pin into it perm permanently permanently can't pronounce that word he welded that in and that seems to start it's working now the loader the loader looks good the loader was sitting off the 900 for nearly half the year it honestly was it's been off a long time uh any longer and <laughs> would probably lucky it was inside in the shed if it was outside all this time i wouldn't like to see it now back here near the salt water anyway. So I greased the whole thing this morning. He fixed the joystick last night. It was a nightmare of a job. I'll show you the joystick in a minute. I greased it all. I painted it. It's not, it's not painted, it's that's just, that's just way style. And I just rub it in normally. I normally, I normally, I normally do, do that a few times a year. These old quickie loaders, they are a whore for rust. They are a nightmare for rust. They, they all rust. I've seen ones way worse. They all rust. This one and the, six, the one on the 6350, they're both the same loader. Anything pre-2006, I think they are rust. This is how they are. The newer ones, there's no problem with them. The paint was just absolutely rubbish on these cookie loaders. I won't lie, it was rubbish. They're a great loader, but the paint was rubbish on these old ones. But they've started that after that, because the one that we have on the N141, there's no problem with that one. That's great paint in that. So this will probably be sandblasted and painted eventually. But the way it's it keeps it. It's not even that bad. A few bits here and there, not much happened. It's only, it's only just the paint chipped off. There's no rot on it or anything like that. It's, just a great, it's still a great loader. Uh, so, this is the new joystick that we put on. Um, on the radio this is the new joystick. Uh, I feel like I feel like I have no tractor now, really, realistically. <laughs> Brand new joystick. It's universal. It's a. Uh, it looks like it looks like the joystick off an MF off a an MX loader or something like that. You know them grey loaders. It looks like one off that. But I'd say it's just the universal joystick. Joystick. At the end of the day, a joystick is a joystick. Works well. The one thing I notice with the quickie with the older one there's no movement in this any move at all and we'll say with the quickie with the older one as you were lifting you, you could kind of be tilting sideways too so you could be leveling something up or when you're bringing something down you can kind of be leveling it down as it's coming down that's the one thing to miss because this is just one function left right it said the bucket it's either up or down or the bucket in or out so there's no real function with it like that but it seems very strong, it's well built. We got it from, um, people might know, Pawdy Buckley Tractors in Cork, they're voucher dealers, so big thanks to them for giving us the joystick, for supplying it. Came, it, came pretty, it came actually pretty quick, so they're re really good to deal with, so big thanks to them. And like I said, I feel like that I have no tractor now with the, with the joystick. Uh, the cables, we had a nightmare to get it on because my, my dad, I helped him after I was milking while he was at it last night and a lot of our jobs are done by night because we're both working and during the day at the joystick the two cables come up in here it's ob that, that, that's obviously the old bracket that was there before same thing cables come out they come out here through the cab up to here and into the valve block and it was tough to get the new cables up in because they were slightly different to the old cables which doesn't make a difference my hundreds only gone through about three cables in her life or sorry two cables and uh, it's always the the in and out in the bucket that keeps breaking that, that always kept breaking because i think when there's a lot there was always a lot of movement we'll say when you're you know you're feeding sides you're moving it a lot when she was buck raking there was a lot of movement flicking going on with the with the buck raking and all that and that did probably do damage to it like that probably did way it, it just do you know what i've done basically as my dad said it just wore out it just wore out the um the plastic in here that's how it used to break so do, do you want to have that anyway? Uh, we had to change all our hoses then, obviously, because this was different. So, yeah, there was a few changes we had to do with the valve block. But either than that, worked out well, really. 
all worked out good. You can say it didn't work out good. Holes are getting a bit shabby in the loader, it's getting old, but still a pretty good loader, like you know. It's good to have her back. Um, because I was just in, in the old farm, you'd see in my you'd see on my Sunday video, I was moving some cattle, so you see that. Uh, and I had max silage back there. It's just so good to have her back because she's just such a tidy, tidy tracked loader. It's so tidy, it's so handy. I'm just so glad because the 6 tree is fine and everything, but when you get into the tight places in the yard, on our yard is pretty tight. Now this obviously won't lift the, the bale shear. That's a, obviously not. <laughs> it's a, it should, the 900 isn't going to work that machine ever. So she's going to be really handy. She'll probably go to the out farm a lot with, with a bale of silage. That'll probably be her job now for the winter. That's plenty for her, like, you know. And she'll probably be doing a few more jobs around the place. It's good to have her back. And another thing that I want to say is our third service here is disconnected. It's not working because um, we're not sure would we even bother wiring it up because that's obviously electric. Do you know, always, there's like a plug back here, but I pulled all that plug off because it actually caught fire. So yeah, it actually caught fire. So I just pulled it all off. I didn't even look at it since because one day I was in the shed and only for the tractor have an isolation switch, which, which they all have. Um, that wire was, was joined up to the starter. And it had to be for power, obviously, to, to power the third service, would say, for a grabber or a bale handler. And I don't know what happened. I just turned it on one morning and there was flames here. The wire was burning, started catching fire with oil as well. So first thing I done, I just, I just turned off the isolation switch. The flame went away. So this goes to show that the only thing that is normally what causes fires on tractors is electrical fires. So that's when I just took off all the electric, I took off all the wire, completely stripped it down, took off the plug, and now that problem is gone. But yeah, first time that ever happened, never seen that happen before, but look, something new. There's always something new with tractors, I think anyway. Uh, but good to have her back, as I say. And I probably should look into painting it next year or something like that. But I think it's fine for a while, but should should look into that. So guys, yeah, that's the 900 back. I just wanted to show you that, that she's back in action. Finally, I'm glad to have her back. And the bit of a revamp that I done in there, that's still perfect. So <laughs> thank God. And yeah, she's good as new again, as always. She's back to her, back to her normal jobs, rooting around in muck as always. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, bye.